Hello guys and welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and let's jump into today's project! For our sign we're gonna need this frame that I had from an old canvas and I stained it, this stencil that I had for a long time and it's seen better days, <laughs> and also this dear stencil. Can you picture what are we gonna do? Well, let's start. Now, we're going to use some white paint and our glue gun. And let's start just framing or making the square for our sign. And for that, I'm just tracing it and then cutting it with my scissors. Now that I have it, I'm going to place my dear stencil like that. And I'm going to start applying my white paint. And you don't have to do a beautiful job with that paint because we want it like faded, like some sort of faded. Like you, like you can see there that the paint job it's the, isn't the best thing ever, <laughs> but it will look good. I promise you that. Look at that; it's beautiful. Now I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back with my letters, and I'm gonna start sponging my letters. And for that. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing over here, but we are going to sponge our letters and you don't have to be so careful because all the little stains of white paint, it will make it a lot better. Now, we continue sponging that or stenciling that. <laughs> it's stenciling, I don't know why I keep saying sponging. <laughs> And we continue adding our letters like that and as you can see it's a specto and over here I'm gonna do patronum look the little stains make it a lot better now I'm taking that glitter spray paint and I'm adding some glitter to it and after that I added a little bit more because I couldn't see the glitter. Now I'm gonna glue it to my frame, but if you do this, don't do what I did. <laughs> you just add the frame to your card board, no cardboard, that's not cardboard, your poster board. Add the frame to the back, not the back to the frame, because if not, you're gonna have the same issue I had. And look at that, I just added it and now I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna see that I missed the top part. And I'm gonna try to remove it, but I will fix it later. This is part of the Harry Potter collab that I'm co-hosting with the Mug Life DIY and her name is Julia. And if you haven't seen her, go and check her out because you're gonna love her. Remember, if you like Modern Farmhouse, Boho Decor, and a couple of silly jokes, subscribe because that's what I do here. And those are my social media, so go and follow me over there. For our second DIY, what we're going to need is cardboard, a box cutter, and what we're going to do is we're going to trace two lines on that big piece of cardboard. I'm using the other one, the other piece, to trace it. And now I'm just doing some triangles in the top. And we are making a dupe for the Dollar Tree houses that everyone wants and love. And I'm making them out of cardboard. So I'm making the back part right now. Just tracing it. If you can find those Dollar Tree houses, you can make them out of cardboard and it's really easy. And look at that, so relaxing. I just love relaxing crafts. Yeah, when you're going through the back to school, you need relaxing crafts. <laughs> if you're like me, leave me a comment below and let me know how you're dealing with the back to school. Now I'm gonna cut some strips out of my cardboard, the longer piece. And I'm just doing it like an inch or so. 
and those are gonna be the sides as you can see here I'm just showing you those are the sides for the house now I'm adding hot glue to the side and I'm gonna start hot gluing my pieces like that and we're gonna continue adding hot glue until we glue all of our piece to the side Remember that if you like modern farmhouse, bobo decor, and a couple of silly jokes, that's what I do here! So subscribe! And we're gonna continue adding our piece until we fill all the sides. And if you have a piece like me that's not complete, then just take another piece, cut it to size, and glue it together. Then we're gonna add the bottom of the house and cut it and glue it and then I'm gonna move on to spray painting it or making another one first <laughs> and then I'm gonna move on to spray painting them that didn't work so I have to take out my chalk paint and start painting them with chalk paint because as you can see that spray paint from Walmart didn't work so I'm gonna paint them with my chalk paint nicely and then let them dry and then I'm gonna come back using my antique wax and I'm gonna make them look like they are made out of wood and for that I'm just applying with a brush my antique wax like that and I'm gonna keep on painting until I have that effect that I want that's like wooden woodenish <laughs> and now let them dry and while they're drying I'm gonna take those two birdies from Walmart and I'm gonna add some cardboard to the back like that by gluing it just so it can be a little bit three-dimensional and the frame I did that to my two birds and now that they're dry, I'm gonna take this wreath that I have and I'm gonna cut a piece of that and I'm gonna place it in the bottom of my house by adding hot glue to the bottom. And as you can see, I'm playing with my hot glue gun. <laughs> and you add your hot glue, add your straw. I don't know if that's straw or raffia or something like that. You just add that and push really hard so it sticks. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our birdie to the back but first I'm gonna add some of that straw like banking it like come out so he looks like he's standing there <laughs> I add that and I'm gonna add another one like that and then I'm gonna add my birdie just like that so cute now I'm gonna add a pumpkin and this is how they turned out. As you can see over here, we have the sign with the deer. And this is how it's looking. I just love it. And over here, we have the cute houses with the other patronum, patronums, patronum, whatever. <laughs> the other birdies. <laughs> and this is how they're looking. I styled them here with a couple pumpkins. And this is how they look together. I just love how they turned out. Remember that in the description box down below, I'm going to leave you the link to the playlist and also to Julia's channel. Go and check what everyone else created because you're going to love everything on that playlist. And you're also going to love Julia. And remember that if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.